it's another that. scotch night. It may, oh, may be Thursday, it may be Tuesday, it may be Friday, we don't know, but it's scotch night. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Isla? 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 What we got? So, just so I you, don't know, you guys if, know this. If you don't know me, I'm, I'm Andrew, and this is my wheelhouse. <laughs> I'm telling you. Really? So, tonight. Talk tonight, to us about this wheelhouse. Yeah, what do you mean by wheelhouse, Andrew? This is a scotch that I, think, the I, I think I might like. Shit. Possibly. Lafroic, great Isla distillery. Started in 1815. Mm. Been around a long time. You can time. do a lot of research on it, but the key for this bot cap bottling that we have today is the Lafroic Select. So this is an interesting uh, combination of, they take their, their standard Laphroaig new make, but they put it into new American oak casks and let it sit. Now, this is a non-aged. I was just gonna say, how long do they let but it then, sit? But then what they do with it, at least three years. Hmm. That's not a good number. But at least what they do is then they take that and they mix it with some of their other select casks. Their Pedro Jimenez, the quarter casks, the triple wood, Thank you put those all together no, to give I a mixture that has all up. probably that sweetness wow. that you get from Pedro Jimenez, yeah, that yeah. oakiness from the American oak. Sounds so, delicious. So this, this is not your Lafroy 10. This is not your just, we throw it in a cask and uh, the peat will That's knock you in the sad. face. This has got some more complexity going on. So we're going to see what we like about this. So the interesting thing I was, I was showing Sean here is 40%. It is 40%. It's a little bit low for an Isla. And then look for it. Because the, the key that we've talked about before in other videos and click the right. suggested videos to, to see some of them, peat can take high alcohol and, and it doesn't that, fight with each other. In fact, it actually almost hand. enhances the oiliness of that peat will just make a nice combination with the, with the high alcohol. Yeah, absolutely. And it can smell it. It smells sandalwood. Ooh. Yeah. Sandalwood? Yeah. This isn't Japanese oak. Well, that's really interesting. I got. Uh, <clears throat> I was I was oh. expecting the normal Lafroig, but it's not. Boy, it's it's there, it. but not as. Uh, well, <laughs> I can say it would. It's so, a new oak. The new oak is yeah. Here. I'll tell you what. The the forty percent ABV has me a little concerned. A little concerned. Not gonna so lie. this is a fifty fifty five dollar bottle. So it's not going to break the bank, but it is a non age forty percent alcohol. It's a lot of vanilla. What's uh, yeah, what's I the ten go for? That. The just, 10? You can get it for 35 on sale. Okay. 45 on regular. Really? Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just yeah. as a frame of reference. Okay. Yeah. So we're talking a little bit more money for yeah. an AS. So it's probably a 10, roughly $10 more per bottle. But they're saying that because they're mixing in some of their more cash. expensive stuff, mm -hmm. although we don't know how much that blend is. They, yeah, it could be 2%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <it's> <laughs> so, I don't know about you guys, but I have an eggnog Lafroy here. I mean, this what? is like really? seriously eggnog vanilla. Boy, I do not get that. Oh my and gosh, I don't know why. It's probably not fair, but my mind, when I, lately I've been drinking a lot of quarter cask, and you, so when you say Lafroy, that's my, I mean, my... It's your go-to? Yeah, my, my Pavlov <laughs> dog, my, my mouth starts watering, and I can taste the quarter cask, and this is not that. No. You can tell from the nose right no. now, it's not that. The nose has more sweetness than the general Lafroy 10, um, probably not as much as your um, wow. Pedro Jimenez. I mean, I'm assuming that it's going to be at least smoother than the 10. I mean, to me, the 10 is pretty rough around the edges. It is. It, it is rough on it. It's got a little bit of bite to it, and it's, uh, to me, it's kind of an unrefined. It, it's not my favorite scotch. How about that? No. And I think I think Lafroy knows that, though. Just I mean, you look at some smooth. of their commercials oh, yeah. with the 10, and they, they absolutely love the fact that people take drinks of them and, and grab no, it. Just right? like an ice cream. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I'm it's pretty smooth. A little disappointed, to be honest with you, so far. Disappointed? What do you want? I, <laughs> I want a Lafroy. This is not this is I, Lafroy. I'll tell you what. I get a like a, a charcoal mm -hmm. uh, flavor, but it's it's almost like it's washed out. You know what I mean? Like it, I get the punch, and then it fades like that. It, it doesn't have. I, I think it's because it's a low ABV. It doesn't have that alcohol to help carry that and, and help... Yeah, I can see that. You know what I mean? So I get that good initial charcoal, and I get I get a little bit of vanilla, uh -huh. but everything fades really quickly. Uh -huh. It's it it feels like when you overwater a scotch a little bit. You know what I mean? And, and it it's got some of those flavors, but it's not as pungent as it used to be. The the first the first hold. sip on there, you I definitely got that the classic Lafroy taste. But the, as you take additional sips, it does it is tamer. It is a, it's a not quite as as pungent as I'm used to with that Lafroy 10. Um, yeah. 
You, I, read, you didn't put any water on it yet. No. He's, he's ahead of us here. I know. Um, so what about sweetness? Are you tasting any of the Pedro Jimenez? I, I, yeah. so, I get a little bit of it. I, I, do, I get a little bit of the red, red sweetness in there. The nose it seems to be getting warmer, hotter, is it? Hotter. The, as it, as the, the, peat, the, the peat smell, the, the phenol smell is airing off and on. Actually, down. yeah. It's interesting. I, I got a little bit more on the nose with the water added, to be honest. Hmm. But it's got a, like a menthol quality to it now. Mm. What? Yeah. I don't have menthol. Not, not here. Oh, I just tasted that now that you mentioned it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to think of this. Um. <clears throat> You guys aren't, aren't too talkative to... No, I, I, it's so not... Give me some flavors. Am, what flavors are you tasting? You, you smell the eggnog, you taste eggnog. I do eggnog. not taste eggnog. You don't taste no, eggnog. I, no, I, the smoke does overpower that. Well, the, the nose actually was pleasant on, at first. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm ready. The the nose, nose, I'm, ready. I'm ready. The nose at first, you need, was actually pleasant. I liked it. It was a little different. It was it reminded me of the quarter cask because, that you know, the birthday cake, vanilla, eggnog, whatever. Probably a little bit too much for what I was wanting to get, but it was it was all right. The palate, uh, kind of like what you were saying, it was watered down with Freud for me. It was kind of like, <laughs> well, I'm okay, and I had another sip. I'm like, all right, I've got a little bit of sweet in there, but it's mostly a little bit of, of watered down smoke, right? I'm like, okay, yeah. well, 40%, I don't want to, but I'm gonna put water because we do every video. We do. Um, and the nose, eh, a little tamer on the vanilla, I think, but not about the same, really. Um, but I'll tell you, the watered down washed away any sweetness I had. It was all basically a little bit of a smoky hint of peat, maybe. Just that, that's about it. I I was really looking forward to this one. I am disappointed, honestly. I was I was thinking, you know, Lafroig and everything they do, and that they are the peat guy, smoke guys, and videos, and this. I don't know if they're trying to get into an entry-level NAS type world of maybe we're too much guys, let's back it down a little bit and get into the entry-level market. Mm. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. If so, screw that idea. Get back to what you're good at. <laughs> I like that. This, uh, not so much. One five. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Alright. Right. I'm up. Any mini up. miny go. I don't know if I'm going to be that nice. <laughs> oh, wow. No. See? wow. One five? I'll tell you what. Um, I can tell that it was bottled at 40, and to Absolutely. me, it was. It, they did a disservice to the Scotch by bottling it at a lower ABV. Um, the the nose to me, I mean, it had some vanilla, it had a little bit of smoke. I didn't get any of that classic Lafroy mm -hmm. that I look for when I open a you bottle. You can smell it here normally. You know right, what I mean? Right. The initial flavor I got that hit of charcoal. And I was like, okay, well, maybe we got a little something going on. And then it just, poof, vanished. <laughs> um, and I didn't care for that. And so I'm, I'm like, trying to struggle to, to, like, taste something there that I really enjoy. Or I don't want to work at my scotch that hard. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Unless uh, it's so it, complex that your mind it, is blown. Right. right. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, we're Isn't talking about, so what, a $55 bottle? To me, fifty-five dollar bottle, I should be able to get something out of that. You know what I mean? Well, especially right. if you're going for Lafroy. And, and island, when I right. put water on it, it was just completely yeah. gone. But I mean, it kind of tasted over watered, really, mm -hmm. on the initial yep. sip. Yep. Um, so I, I didn't really care for this much at all, especially at the price point. I'm gonna give it a one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a fair assessment. Yeah, it is a fair assessment. I'm gonna start off by just saying, Dennis, you're right. And when uh, <laughs> when our favorite uh, liquor store manager watches this, he'll understand. Um, I'm saying that, and, and I tried not to take his review while I was drinking this, but I, he some of the things he said are spot on. I don't. I close my eyes. I don't taste a Lafroy here. Um, the only point in time I actually could tell you I had a Lafroy was the very beginning of the the aftertaste. I I, I was like, oh, there's some yep. Lafroy, and then it was gone, and I was. I was just left with sort of a, a menthol -y taste in the back of my mouth, and I'm like, well, what was that, right? Um, I just think, I don't know what they did. I don't know why they did it, because they didn't stay true to what a Lafroy is. Number one, it, I didn't get a Lafroy nose like I wanted. Um, Flavor-wise, I didn't get it what I wanted. Uh, water, I could sort of get it. That's when I, and then it was watered down. Why? Because it's 40%. I'm like, what the, I just think this was an abysmal mistake. I think they made a lot of mistakes on this. And that's not a knock on the distillery because I absolutely love the distillery. Um, I think they took a swing 
that they shouldn't have here. Yeah. And that's fair. Everybody, you know, they got to try. I'm going to give it a 1-2 uh, as well. Not a 1.2, but a 1 as well. And, um, and it's probably because of the fact that I've been drinking a lot of the other Lafroix so much that I absolutely love that this one is just hurting. Mm. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sad. I'm well, you know, and, and especially for the price point they're giving I'm, I'm now, disappointed. That, you know? that, right, because for 10 more bucks, I can get quarter cask, and I absolutely love that exactly. thing. <laughs> for, for 20 bucks less, I get a bottle of 10. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and at least I know I'm drinking all Lafroix. Right? Damn right. right. Yeah. Anyway, it's off, but it really does sound like they're trying to get into that, you know what, I, I'm kind of liking scotch now a little bit. Maybe I'll try this Isla stuff. Maybe yeah. maybe this is where I'll start. I don't know. That'll set you up. I don't but appreciate I would, it. I would think they would go the cheaper one. That's but it's that, that, but it's definitely a lot more potent than yeah, this. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, all right, Andrew. Finish so I'll, I'll respect yeah. all your opinions, this but I don't will. fully agree with that. And and so <laughs> what I think what I what I'm hearing is you guys are upset that Lafroy put out this bottle. Not that the bottle is bad, but this doesn't taste like Lafroy. No, I think it's bad. I think both. <laughs> I think both. I, I, I'm disappointed, disappointed in Lafroig, but I also think that the scotch isn't really so I agree. good. Not for the price. I, you give me 55 bucks, I'm not buying that. I, no. <laughs> Ever. Ever. Not. Wow. Shh. Well, no. Dang. Lintop, Lintop, for $55. Lintop. Yeah. I, I mean, for 55 bucks, I, there's a lot of good stuff. I'm sorry. Cheer, you, you hit it, buddy. You, 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 you do your so, thing. So, it, it, is, it is not a great representation of a good Isle of Scotch, in my view. Um, it... The nose, especially with water, does not have that rich, deep, peaty, smoky aroma. The palate initially is, on that first sip out of the bottle, I, I hit that the, the Lafroy charcoal kind of hit, just hit me, great. But then, but then the subsequent drinking kind of goes away, but I, I still get a, a strong finish. I get a, a spicy, smoky finish that, that sticks with me. I'm sitting here talking to you, and I get that dryness from the from the peat that I'm, that's continuing to. to I don't know whether. I got to reach down and grab it. I mean, it's there, but I'm like, it's the, like buried, like in the water. I don't know where you guys are because I'm sitting here. You guys are talking, and I'm just like, it's just roll, continuing to roll. So these guys, I don't know what they've been drinking, but he hasn't had a scotch in a while. He's uh, <laughs> <laughs> been busy. So I'm gonna give this a two because it's not, I don't think it's a bad bottle. It is not my favorite Lafroig. It's not my favorite Isla, but I wouldn't turn it down. Um, my question is what no, I, what I, what I, I buy this down. We're Scotch horse. <laughs> if, if, if I got a choice of Lafroigs, this, this would not be my first choice. Yes. Um, it would probably be not my, even if there's multiple Islas there, and this is the only Lafroig, I probably wouldn't pick that because there are other Islas that are better than this. Um, it's not a bad bottle. Um, I'm going to give it a two because I think it is a tamed down version of Lafroig. It does meet a certain market. It is ne not necessarily my wheelhouse and my favorites, but it does reach, and that's something to, to note for all of you that are reviewing. If you're afraid of Lafroig, this is an entry level entry yeah, Lafroig. Yeah, I just that, that doesn't, that we won't say, point. Yeah, you'll take, you crack the bottle, you take your first sniff, and now I can't drink it. For for some of the Lafroigs that are so potent, sure. this one is it'll get you in that. I, I, I think that that's finish. the key. I think that's what they yes. went for. Honestly, I really do. I think they came in here saying, you know what, yeah. we want our name and our taste because it still has Lafroig taste, have some Lafroig. not a whole lot, mind you, compared to what we're used to. So but it is there. Butt. What? I'm just saying, select my butt. I, you know, don't put select and make me think that I'm getting something special. Special. That, you know, it's, well, they it's not. Got select cask. So anyway, so it's one 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 five two. So we're in the one and a half ish below. -ish hey, should area. you go buy it? You know what? If like we said, if you're interested in Islas and haven't had it before, it's not a bad try. Are there other Islas you could try that maybe around the same price range? Yes. Probably check out some of our reviews. But you know what? It's it's not horrible. But I think probably for us, we would like something better. Yep. Sure. So I anyway, mean, I'm not turning right, a glass. Slide, you guys. Um, Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Watching. Hit the yeah, like subscribe button. Subscribe if you're watching and you enjoy what you see because we're having fun. Check out us on Patreon Thanks. as well. <laughs> Live review every Thursday. Every Thursday. Amen. Come and see us.